I have built a little rock climbing wall inside the cave with the fitness stuff thing. All right, he's bumping his head a little bit, and you can kind of see the handholds moving. But, yeah, that, that's probably as good as I'm going to get. Hi, it's Charity, and welcome back to the Prehistoric Whale Bills Challenge. The rules for this challenge will be linked in the description below, as well as a playlist for all of the series. Now we're just joining Cassidy Snow and Xavier Jameson as they're trying to make another baby. So I've learned my lesson from last time. The women, for some reason, tend to die off first. So unfortunately, trigger warning, if you don't like pregnancy loss and infant death in your video games, then don't watch this series. But basically, we're doing death rolls. And unfortunately, last time we had the females pass away relatively early before they could have a second batch of kids. So I'm just going to, you know, kind of designate the females as trying to keep up with the babies. And then we're going to use the males as doing all of the hunter gathering type stuff and working on their skills. I did go ahead and populate that other empty lot with another of the families. So we do have another family now that is part of the collective. And the one that we were playing last time is on the lot where I left them. It's just one male left and two toddlers. So if that family dies out, we will again add a new family there. Because I think that we're just going to have to concentrate on having more than one family going at a time in order for them to be able to survive. Okay, Xavier is going to love the outdoors. Oh look, it's the welcome wagon. We'll invite them in, but technically some of them are not part of this pack. Oh, and Xavier also likes gardening. Um, sure, but technically we can't do any gardening. We will only be harvesting plants. So gathering is allowed, but planting and weeding and spraying for bugs is not allowed. Okay, we've got one more path to find in the underground. Okay, we opened up all the tunnels and now we can travel to the lot, which is the basement. <laughs> And basically, this is the underground that we have with all the cooking supplies, all of the reading materials, and where we're going to store our artifacts. Okay, I'm going to try to make mushroom steak, but hopefully he doesn't start a fire down here. Okay, technically tonight is a full moon, so they're going to transform, and I have to keep them from damaging things and scaring people and of course he immediately scratches the bookcase even though i have told him to go over there <laughs> okay it's jared and norman's birthday but the thing is that right now she's transformed and so she can't do anything no don't zoomies come back over here well one bad thing about the full moon is that the werewolves don't do too well at caring for babies when they're transformed. And Cassidy's eating for two. Okay, she did manage to feed one of them. Okay, finally they're regaining control. Okay, happy birthday, Jared. And Jared is going to be cautious. And happy birthday, Norman. And Norman is wiggly. Okay, Xavier has completed the first step of his aspiration, so he's going to be a Wild Fang renegade. Which means he needs to join the Wild Fangs, turn Sims into werewolves, and werewolf world domination, and become Alpha of the Wild Fangs. Well, uh, the only problem with turning Sims into werewolves is there has to be a Sim that's not another occult, and that's going to be difficult to find. Because I did delete all of the townies from this world and I might have to add some back in that are not werewolves or vampires or spellcasters. So the first step is we have to introduce ourselves to Rory. 
like the show. Okay, now he's a friend of the wild things. Well, unfortunately, we don't have a collectible to give her, so we might have to come back later. Well, it looks like you can give excellent food as well, so that will allow us to join the wild things. Now, don't go yet. Let's join the wild things, please. And now we've done the first step of our aspiration for joining the wild things. Then we need to turn Sims into werewolves, have werewolf domination, and become alpha of the wild things. That'll take a long time. All right, time to see if this works. Can you go here? I have built a little rock climbing wall inside the cave with the fitness stuff thing. So let's see if it works. Oh, is it going to work? Uh, that rock is a little bit too close, but I might have to deal with it because otherwise this control panel will be visible. Oh, it totally works. Eh, sort of. Okay, he goes into the rock too much. But the problem is if you don't... Oh, man, the thing got moved. It was not like that before. Okay, unfortunately... The stupid rock climbing thing rotates back and forth. That's going to be really hard to do. Okay. I wish someone would make a reskin of that so that it looks like a rock versus a fitness machine. Well, that one has to be rethought. Oh, I see. If I climb a vertical climb, it looks like it works. Okay. So it won't tilt backwards if you climb vertically. And it looks actually not so bad. I just maybe need to scoot it back a teensy bit. All right, he's bumping his head a little bit. And you can kind of see the handholds moving. But yeah, that, that's probably as good as I'm going to get. The reason for this is that for this challenge, we have to raise certain skills to maximum in order to progress to the next stage. And the skills we're going to work on are charisma, comedy, cooking, dancing, fishing, fitness, gardening, handiness, mischief, mixology, parenting, rock climbing, and singing. Oh good, Xavier likes fitness. You're going to be doing that a lot, so I'm glad you like it. Okay, Xavier is also going to be active. That's also a good trait. Well, since both the babies are sleeping, we might take Cassidy down to see if she can get through the tunnel system. Her needs are pretty good, and she really doesn't need to do anything else right now, but she's very pregnant. All right, we found two paths, and we have to go back because the infants are starting to get hungry again. So Cassidy will try to get some of the things done, but I think her main focus is going to be taking care of the babies, especially after she has her second letter. So we got Transformation Mastery with Xavier, and we're going to devour all this stuff because it gives us lots of werewolf experience. Well, hello, Pena Lee. I know you happen to be human, and guess what? You're going to be a werewolf. No, you can't leave. You're going to be a werewolf, whether you like it or not. Okay, do I get credit, or do I have to wait for him to turn? Okay, I get credit. And we also get Werewolf Menace, because that counts, uh, um, that doesn't count as Werewolf World Domination. Oh. Okay, we have to spar with werewolves, or fight Greg, or mark our territory. Time to feed the babies again. Sorry, Cassidy. I know it's hard being a mom. Oh, that's good. Tummy time is fun. So at least Cassidy has fun playing with her infants. Oh no, we have an earthquake. All right, the earthquakes are our signal that we have to do a death roll. So our first death roll is on Wednesday. All right, and this is our setup. Xavier Johnson is not a dormant or greater wolf, but he has seven good traits and one bad trait. Cassidy Snow has two good traits and two good bad traits. And then this is for her pregnancy. Jared is actually a greater wolf blood. So that doubles his chance of survival. And then Norman is neither greater nor dormant. So if you have the dormant wolf trait, your chances of survival are half. And if you have the greater wolf blood trait, your chances of survival are double. 
And then I count up good traits and bad traits that have a slight effect, but not a huge effect. And the modifiers are pretty much anything that is social is good. Anything that's antisocial is bad. And anything that seems to be good for your health will be considered good. And anything bad for your health will be considered bad, like lactose intolerance. And then if you're the alpha of the pack, you get more survival. And if you've defeated Greg, you get more survival. So our first rolls are, okay, so we got Xavier who survived. Cassidy survived. So the female did survive this time. Her pregnancy, however, did not. So that means I just clear the pregnancy and she'll have to start over and try and get pregnant again. Jared survived. He's our greater wolf blood. And then unfortunately, Norman, not normal, Norman, uh, did not survive. So we lost one of the infants. We still have one remaining. That's not too bad. Uh, I had much worse luck last time because I immediately lost the female. And once you lose the female, basically your family cannot grow anymore. And that's just how it goes. The male cannot find another mate because they have to be fated mates and they mate for life. They can only have one mate. So I was actually able to get the sad buffs. Although MC Command Center is not filtering them, I had to manually scroll through thousands of buffs. But anyway, we're going to try for a baby right away so that we can try and get Cassidy pregnant. Luckily, Cassidy is not too sad, although she's about to be if she doesn't hurry up. Well, we were able to try for baby before her sadness took over. So hopefully we will get a pregnancy out of this one and we'll be able to get some more children because we only have one. Although Jared is a greater wolf blood infant, so hopefully he will be able to survive. Oh no, Cassidy is unflirty now. It's because she's sad and she's trying for a baby. Okay. Okay, what does Xavier need to do? He's on notice now. Okay, he needs to participate in the pack. So we need to give a pack make gift or contribute to the resources. We'll contribute. Oh no, it's another earthquake or volcanic bomb. Yeah, it's a volcanic bomb. Uh, yeah, and there's a fire. That's fun. Where's the fire? There it is. And of course, the stupid thing is in the way. Okay, so we have Xavier, Cassidy, Cassidy's pregnancy, and Jared. I happen to know she's pregnant because I used MC Command Center. Even though it hasn't announced it officially to me, I'm still going to roll for it. But if she loses the pregnancy, then she's not going to know about it. So I'm not going to add a sad buff for that. And it looks like everybody survived. So that was fortunate rolls. See, it, Jared can get as low as a 37 and still survive because he's a greater wolf blood. And Cassidy, even though she's not greater wolf blood, got a 46 and still survived. And that tells you how low I had to roll for the previous two households to lose both of the females. And I only rolled once or twice for each household. So this time we're actually getting quite lucky. And Cassidy is eating for two. Now it's Thursday. I don't know if we will get to see the babies born before we switch to the next household. Well, I found another sim that isn't a werewolf. So Xavier is going to turn his second sim into a werewolf. There's going to be so many werewolves in this world. Oh, Cassidy is gloomy. Yeah, because she's been sad since she lost her baby. So I guess that means she has a new bad trait, unfortunately. All right, we'll challenge Rory for the leadership since we're Max Werewolf and we have an Alpha Wolf now. But he probably will not win. And the way this has to happen is he has to challenge her to a brawl. You can't win with a tug of war because that's just silly. No, we lost. And I know that that sometimes make you have pack warnings too. So we better be nice to Rory after that. Yeah, she she's beat up though, at least. 
We are now a beta rank in the Wild Fangs, and I was able to purchase the Mark Territory one, and that's what gets you the world domination. And now we have a free little infant because Jared can sit up. Oh, that's why it's awkward. Rory and Lou actually got married and they're flirting in front of me. I was wondering why every time Lou and Rory talked to me that it was an awkward encounter. Well, we have Cassidy reading some books now, so hopefully she'll get her aspirations started. I don't think that she'll get very far because she is the female who needs to have the babies and take care of the children. But I think that we should at least try to get her aspiration finished. Okay, so Cassidy is now working on the Wild Thing Renegade aspiration. And that means that she can come down here and cook and take care of all of her needs down in the basement. Now, I was debating whether or not letting the children down here, but I think that it's better if I leave them up top because. I'm not sure about letting them down here without them actually earning the right to be down here. I guess the argument could be made that their parents carried them down here, but I'd rather leave them up top. Okay, I found Rory and she's still injured and Xavier has somehow recovered faster. So let me see if I can win the brawl this time. Uh, the only thing is I'm in a flirty mood and I don't think that's going to help. At least it's not uncomfortable though. No, I did not win that one. My fitness level is only level six, but still I would think since she's injured that he would have a better opportunity to get it. Time to go back to working out. But Cassidy can introduce herself. No, oh, no, it's an earthquake. Ah, we get three death rolls this time. Okay, so we're going to do the death rolls for this time. And we get, well, everyone survived again. So even though the lowest score was a 28, the odds of survival, I think for a greater wolf blood infant it has to be lower than a 15. So the odds of survival are still pretty high. It's just that as you continuously roll, then eventually you may get a bad roll. And there is a possibility of getting a zero. It's like less than 1%. But if you get a zero, there's basically nothing that can save you now, no matter how good your traits are. So there's always some possibility of not surviving the death roll. Well, we're just trying to make friends with Rory, but I don't think we'll get it. We need to go back and feed the infant. Come on, pick up the baby. Feed the baby. I had her pick him up before, and she stopped to look at the snow. And now she won't pick him up again. Thank you, buggy infants. Okay, we can challenge Rory again. And she still looks injured. And we have our primal instinct activated. However, this only lasts for 30 minutes. It's not a really good buff. Yeah, it definitely doesn't last long enough. No, we lost again. Although the buff is still active, so it's barely there. Okay, so Xavier likes homebody sims. Okay. All right, I'll have him apologize. Maybe that'll make the sentiments go away. What if Rory was to get pregnant? She is married. Now, I think if she was pregnant, she would still be leader of the Wild Things, and then I wouldn't be able to brawl with her. So I'm not going to do that. Hey, Rory, quit destroying my dollhouse. Oh, it's Jared's birthday. That's good. Now we don't have to worry about an infant. We can have a toddler running around. Happy birthday, Jared. And Jared is going to be silly. But he was also a top-notch infant. That improves his chances for survival, too. And yes, we are going to be potty training the toddlers using this little tree stump, which is a potty.
Okay, now that Cassidy is friends with Rory, we can become friends of the wild things and then try to join the pack. All right, now she can join the wild things. All right, Rory is healed, but we can challenge her yet again. We're going to try this time with confident, but unfortunately she is also confident, so I don't have high hopes for this at all. Oh, I won! I am now Alpha of the Wild Fangs. Now we just need to find one more sim to turn into a werewolf. Okay, it seems like level 7 fitness is a good time to challenge the pack leaders. Because, to be honest, that's how high my fitness was when I won against Greg first try. So you have to be an alpha wolf, which is a werewolf ability, and then also have level 7 fitness. Being in a confident mood also helps. I think both times I was confident. Alright, I started a club and tried to find some sims that are not a werewolf. So we'll see if any of them show up and aren't. Oh, the first one that showed up, Marcus Swinson. You are not a werewolf. Would you like to become one? Too bad if not. All right, and we completed the Wild Thing Renegade aspiration. So now Xavier has the ability to complete other tasks. The first aspiration we're going to do is the bodybuilder one. And whenever I get this one, if it says workout at a gym venue, I just automatically clear that one because we don't have gym venues. Oh no, Xavier hasn't been acting like his normal self lately. Xavier has been very scared and a bit paranoid. He's confident. Why is he going to be paranoid? Fine. It's just because someone screamed at him. He's actually not afraid. So I don't know why that happened. Well, it's the end of the season, and we have to do death rolls because we actually do death rolls at the end of the seasons, except for spring. So, luckily, we have Xavier who completed a aspiration, so that makes him more likely to survive. Okay, for the seasonal roll, we have death roll. Everyone survives. Okay, wow. Cassidy was uh, kind of close. 26 is pretty low. I think anything lower than a 20 will cause a young adult not to survive if they have no other good traits. So why do I keep losing or almost losing the female? And really, there's no penalty for being a female. I don't have any extra penalties built in here. The only thing is, is that if they have a child, I give them an extra death roll. But that hasn't happened yet. So I have pregnancy progression off and we will not be missing out on her pregnancy this time. Because what happened last time is because aging is turned off for the families, they have their babies and then the babies just don't age up. So what I want to happen is I want to be able to name the babies. So I've turned off pregnancy progression for non-active played households. And this is Charity. Thanks for watching.